Hello everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to download and install Feed the Beast Sky Adventures. This is a pretty cool mod pack, but first a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to quickly and easily set up a 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server running Feed the Beast Sky Adventures with just a few clicks. It's an incredible server, so much so we trust them with our own network Minecraft server, play.breakdowncraft.com. So be sure to check out Apex Minecraft hosting at the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex get an awesome 24 hour DDoS protected server. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and get on into this. The first thing you want to do to get FTB Sky Adventures is go to the second link down below and it will take you to this page. This is the Twitch app. Nick, I thought we were installing a Feed the Beast application. Well, we are, but now Feed the Beast hosts all of their mod packs on the Twitch app. So we need to download the Twitch app. Once you're on this page, just click on the download button. It's pretty simple. You don't need to overcomplicate things and that will go ahead and start downloading in the bottom left. There we go, the Twitch app has now downloaded, as you can see in the bottom left. If we minimize our browser, mine is on my desktop, yours isn't on your desktop, don't freak out. Click on the Windows icon, it's in the top left for me, it's probably in the bottom left of your screen. Go ahead and click on that, it'll open up this right here, type in Downloads. Twitch will be right here in your Downloads folder. You can drag it to your desktop for ease of use. Now, once it's on your desktop, go ahead and double click on the Twitch setup. This is just like installing any other program, but it's a lot simpler, just click Install. And there you go. It'll install and set up and you're good to go. The Twitch app will automatically open. Now mine is logged in already. You will need to log in to your Twitch account for this to work. So go ahead, log on into your Twitch account, and there you go. You'll be good. It says I'm currently streaming, which just is not true. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on mods right here. See that? That little mods tab. It'll take it here where you should have Minecraft. Click on that, and then it'll ask you if you want to install. There'll be a button at the bottom that you need to click. Click on that, and it will go ahead, install, and set up Minecraft with Twitch here. Then you'll land on this page where you want to go ahead and click on Browse All Mod Packs. And then you want to type in FTB Sky Adventures, or FTB Sky, and right there it is, FTB Sky Adventures. Go ahead and click on install right here. And it will then begin automatically installing the FTB Sky Adventures mod pack. Now this is going to take a while. It has a ton of mods in it. Uh, probably over 200 mods. Typically, that's what we're looking at with FTB mods these days is over 200. So, absolutely insane. It's going to actually just 165 mods, but it's going to go through, download all those. I will see you guys once it's done. And there we go. The mod pack just finished downloading here. Once it is finished downloading, you'll have this purple play button. Click on that purple play button and it'll open up the Minecraft launcher we all know and love. Now, you will probably have to log in here, but this is the same login information that you use whenever you go to change your Minecraft skin on Minecraft.net. Whenever you go to log into Minecraft.net, net in any way or whenever you have to log into the default Minecraft launcher. That's because this is the default Minecraft launcher. The only difference is it's got a, a new version installed with your mods on it. Now, once you've logged in, you'll land on this page right here where then in the top right, you'll probably have to click these three lines and then you want to go over here to where it says launch options. Once you're here, you want to find FTB Sky Adventures. There it is. Click on that and then you want to go through and change some stuff. First, I'm going to change my resolution. You don't have to do that, but this is just so you can see later. Now, what we do need to change is our RAM or Java arguments down here. And you see where this says XMX 3072. That means this will use three gigabytes of RAM. However, I recommend for this mod pack at least using five gigabytes. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up to around six gigabytes just to make sure we are safe. But once you've updated your RAM right there and updated it, we can go ahead and click save. Click on News, and then click on Play. Now we'll go ahead and launch up Sky Adventures in Minecraft 1.12.2, as that's the version it's native in, with all of the Sky Adventures mods installed. This will take a while. It takes a very long time to start up mod packs the first time you start them up, but after it's done, it'll be quicker every single time after that. Still longer than launching normal Minecraft, by all means, but a bit quicker. I will see you once we are finally on the Minecraft main menu. And there we go, Sky my adventures is now opened up. First thing I need to do, come over here and turn off sounds. There we go. We cut the music off just before it got too loud. But now that we're in here, we can definitely see that Sky Adventures is installed. This is just a beautiful main menu, by the way. 195 mods loaded, a bit more than it told us on Twitch, but that's okay. We can actually click on the Mods tab here and see all of the different mods loaded. 
There are a lot of them, but if we just jump into a single player world real quick, we will see that it is in fact installed. By the way, you've got a bunch of different options and it's, it's really cool how it tells you, you know, these different, like, it's almost like this custom texture pack automatically installed, which I guess probably is what it is. But let's go ahead and create the world here, and we'll see, in fact, that we are playing Sky Adventures. This seems like a really cool mod pack, and I wonder where it sits with Sky Factory, and I know Sky Factory 4 will be coming out very, very soon, according to Bacon Donut, but, but, it's still, this is going to be cool, and I'm excited to see what Sky Adventures has over Sky Factory, and back and forth. But if you're looking to play just Sky Block, why not come play it on our server? Play.breakdowncraft.com. Information is in the description down below too. How to get to play.breakdowncraft.com. It's just your server IP on Minecraft should be play.breakdowncraft.com and you'll launch right on into our server. Click on Sky Block and you are good to go. We have the best Sky Block server in the multiverse, so come play with us. But speaking of Sky Adventures, we are now in the game. We've got our starting books here, our quest book, as well as RIP. All right. Well, with that, I think I think we're good there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I uh, I that was bad. That was really bad. Did I step on this trap? Is that what happened? I don't even know what happened there. But anyway, there we have it. That is Sky Adventures Temple of some kind. <laughs> this is cool. But anyway, yeah, there we go. I'm gonna end the video now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content exactly like this every single day of the week. My name is Nick. This has been the breakdown, and I am out. Peace.